not only from the burn itself, but from your fingers and your blood flow. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you a first aid hack that almost no one knows. Stay tuned. So what we have here is my very small compact first aid kit that I put together for myself. Uh, it did come from a hospital, Meadowview Regional, uh, I'm not sure where that is, but anyway, I think I bought this at a yard sale or flea market, but it was a perfect size. It uh, fits on the belt, I've got a little carabiner of course, and I've got some other odds and ends like a whistle and some duct tape and things. I may go over this at some point in detail. But one of the things that I carry in here, and this is a recent addition, I just learned about it and I want to share it with you is I carry a pack of yellow Heinz ketchup in a small pill size Ziploc bag. Along with that, I also carry some very small pieces, if I can dig them out here, of aluminum foil. All right, let's get into how you use this. I learned this from one of my students who is an active EMT as well as having done extensive time in a third world country as a missionary. And he was telling me that this is how they take care of their burns. And actually in the class, while melting some paracord, he actually got a burn on three of his fingers. And he showed me this hack. And so I thought it was a tremendous thing to add to my first aid kit. And I wanted to share it with you. It's pretty simple. All you do is you take the mustard and you want it to be yellowed mustard. I know there's different colors, but yellow mustard works best. There's a couple reasons for carrying it in a small pill size Ziploc bag. First of all, it makes this pack reusable, so I can put it back in here and stick it back into my little first aid kit without it going everywhere, and it also helps keep it from being punctured. So what you want to do is you want to just use the little tear tab and tear it open and get some of the mustard and put it on your burns, wherever it may be. Let's say we've burned these three fingers. All right, so we're going to put it on three, three fingers, we're gonna spread it on these burns, right where we've grabbed a hold of the melted paracord, or uh, not too long ago, I grabbed a hold of something that was hot out of the fire. I thought it had cooled off, it hadn't yet enough. So I've burned myself, and I've got this mustard on there, wipe off the excess, and we take the aluminum foil, open it up, and I've already got three sheets cut. You can have as many as you want, or as few as you want, but it's nice to have them already cut into shape. And you can use the shiny side or the uh, dull side. It doesn't really matter. I've read both ways. Either one can work. But all we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put this around the burn. We're going to do that to each finger. And again, you want to be careful if you have the you know burns on it. You want to keep uh, from putting too much pressure on it. All right, just like that. And now we have our fingers protected, not only from the burn, but also uh, from any further damage. So what are the reasons why you would want to carry mustard in your first aid kit, and what is the science behind it? Well, first of all, a little history. It's been used since ancient times to help heal sunburns. It's also known as a muscle relaxer, and when the skin is healed, it has a nice healthy glow from using the mustard. Of course, you should always use yellow mustard, and it should never be used on really deep, like second or third degree burns, but first degree burns, even ones with minor blistering, it works great for that. Do note that it functions a little different from person to person, and some people work really fast, others it might take a few more minutes. Of course, you should never use this if you have a, a negative adverse reaction to mustard. You should leave it on for about 12 hours, and then gently rinse it off. Repeat the process every day uh, for several days until it's finally healed up and it will help prevent scarring and further discomfort. Now mustard contains a compound called allyl isothiocyanate, which I had to learn to say, and it is a powerful counter irritant. Counter irritants are substances that can relieve pain by gradually reducing it. They also act as a vasodilator, which means it opens up your veins and increases blood flow to the underlying tissue and therefore it speeds up the recovery process. Mustard also helps draw out the sting and as I said already, will help prevent uh, blistering and scarring. Now, why do we wrap it with aluminum foil? Well, aluminum foil is really good to help draw out the heat. 
not only from the burn itself, but from your fingers and your blood flow. Uh, as your blood pulses in through your veins into your fingers, uh, you're going to have that extra heat. This, of course, will transfer, because it is a metal, it transfers the heat then from your finger to the outside, which helps keep the burn cool and therefore more comfortable. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel. And you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And a big thank you to everybody that's been doing so. You'll also find our spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. You'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up for great survival and bushcraft training classes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.